Hi, I'm Darcy Daniels. I'm a garden designer and creator of eGarden Go. I'm going to walk you through how to use eGarden Go to help your customers select plants and as a result give you an opportunity to increase your sales. eGarden Go is the product of my passion for helping gardeners be more successful in choosing plants for their gardens and it's stoked by my experiences as a garden designer and the time that I've spent in retail nurseries helping customers select plants and from my experiences and sharing my perspective on garden design and plant selection in workshops and seminars. When meeting customers and clients in the garden center or when consulting with them out in the field, we hear about these needs that they have and the desires that they're trying to fulfill with their gardens. Our job is to help them select plants that satisfy these needs and desires. I've seen the look and I bet you have too, and it manifests itself in a variety of different ways. We're often in the position of helping our customers and clients navigate this unfamiliar territory. They come to us a bit confused, intimidated by the process of figuring out what to do, what plants to choose. They often really just have no idea where to start. So I have a question for you to think about. When you're first meeting a customer or a client, and you know you're going to be helping them select plants, what types of questions do you start with? What's your opening volley? I'll bet you ask them about their site. You ask them if they can describe it, um, whether, you know, how much sun it gets, how, how shady it is, whether they're going to be able to water it, um, how much wind do they get, what's the soil like, what's there now, are there plants that they're working around, or are they perhaps uh, starting with a blank slate? eGarden Go is a smart and practical tool that endeavors to unlock the secrets of successful garden making, making them accessible to gardeners of all levels. And there are three main paths for entering the site, but once in, they're all really quite interconnected. Our blog includes garden design tips and inspirations, and we showcase gardens, and we also provide tips for using eGarden Go. There are a number of comprehensive plant databases online, and you know what? We're not looking to replace those. Plants are added to our site only when they're included in at least one plant combo. And combos. Combos are the heart and the soul of our site. The, they're our core offering, and we have hundreds of combos. Some even include planting plans, and with more being added all the time. The typical combo includes three to six plants, that are commercially available, that customers can get, and they're illustrated with photos that are clear and easy to digest. eGarden Go provides ideas and inspiration for gardeners of all levels, from beginners and first-time gardeners to, that are just starting out to avid gardeners and horticultural pros. They're also regular users of our site. We touched on the questions we might ask when we're getting started with a, a customer or a client. And these may also be the questions or criteria that we mull as we're considering our own projects as designers. These questions are like a roadmap for using eGarden Go, and they echo the way that we'll navigate the site and they inform which silo, how we might enter or start exploring the site. Perhaps we'll explore plant combos, or maybe we will uh, go down the road of exploring plants first. When I'm selecting plants or looking for plant combo ideas uh, and honing in on the best choices for a particular site or situation, I start by describing in detail what it is that I'm looking for. Before a plant has a, has a name, it's a rounded shrub or a finely textured upright evergreen conifer with blue foliage or an eye-catching accent with colorful strappy foliage or a boldly textured shrub that adds weight and gravitas to the scene, or ground covers and flowering plants that add seasonal color to the scene. When considering planting combination ideas, I take into consideration the cultural conditions of my site and whether I need a combo to fulfill a particular landscape need. In a moment, we're going to look at how to use the filters on our site to hone in on plants and combos for specific situations or that have uh, specific design characteristics. So let's look at some of those specific instances and let's start with a hypothetical customer. Where are they starting from? Is there a plant that they'd like to build upon? One that they have in their garden already? Perhaps they told you 
uh, about that or one that's in their basket sitting there begging for company. In this case, let's presume that we've decided to start with Hookera Fire Alarm. We navigate to the Explore Plants page and we do a keyword search for Hookera and we get a number of results, one of which is Hookera Fire Alarm. Clicking through, we arrive at the detail page for the plant. And I'm going to mention something here. I want to point out the fact that we are uh, including what I call suitable subs. Suitable subs are alternate plants that can achieve the same design objectives. In this case, Hookera Rio would be a uh, possible substitute for Hookera Fire Alarm if you don't carry or don't grow or are out of stock. Rio could achieve the same or similar results. And at the bottom, you'll see the plant combo recipes that, uh, that include the Hookera Fire Alarm. So let's go in and let's take a closer look at one of those. Clicking through to the combo detail, we get the full recipe and three more plants that are added to, uh, to the scene with Hookera Fire Alarm. We added a Chorus Ogon, Fatsia Camouflage, and a tassel fern, Polystichum polyblepharum. And look at that. We've increased our sale. This original sale was probably, what, $16, $18? And I'd say that cart right there is probably loaded up with at least $150 worth of plants. And we've provided great ideas for our customer. And you know what? We've probably improved the efficiency of our team as well. So one of the quickest and easiest ways to get started with eGarden Go is to Search the site, look for a plant, find one that you'd like to start with or build around. Click through for professionally curated plant combo ideas that include it. We're all about providing fresh inspiration and we think we can help you save time and increase your sales. Let's do a few searches. These are some plant centric searches. Let's say I'm looking for an evergreen columnar plant for screening. This is zone seven, evergreen, full sun, and it leads me to a number of different options, among them Cupressus swains golden. Or let's say I'm looking for a cold hardy perennial that has summer flowers, that's gonna attract pollinators, and it makes a nice cut flower. Number of different options as we narrow it down, but the butterfly weed fits the bill. Or how about a foliage accent in silvery blue tones to light up a shady spot? There we go. Camisipris berry silver fits the bill. So the question becomes, hey, what should I plant with it? Well, I couldn't be happier that you asked because we've got lots of ideas. All of these planting combinations include Camisipus berry silver. And if you click through, you'll get the full planting recipe that includes details about each of the individual plants. Let's look at another path. Where are these people starting from? This looks like a blank slate. And as such, oh my gosh, there are so many options. So many options that it can be overwhelming and intimidating for some gardeners. So eGarden Go can help your clients and customers get over that hump and go from that eek, I have no idea what I'm going to do, to yay, I'm going to make a garden today. If you're starting from a blank slate and there isn't a specific plant that you're working around, you might want to start by going down this path, explore plant combos. It's a great way to get fresh ideas for a space like what we just saw, to quickly and easily narrow the number of options and to make the project feel much more manageable. Our search reveals a number of combos that meet the criteria that we identified for our blank slate example. Those criteria include some site specific things like what zone it's in and how much, uh, how much sun it's getting. And also some jobs that we're asking it to get done. In this case, we're looking for deer resistant plantings and we're also looking for uh, plants that have good foliage because this is by a front entrance. So we identify a number of options and this one we're gonna take a closer look at. Clicking through, we get the details. This combo meets the criteria that we laid out. And there's even an in-ground example of it planted, uh, planted out in a garden setting. 
We examine the combo detail, we get the full recipe for this planting combination that includes these six plants. So the result, our customer has a roadmap to success. And uh, we have a confident customer with a plan of action. And that usually results in a, in a larger sale or a smoother design process. And speaking of plans of action, we got those too. Some of our combos have ready-made planting plans, like this one. It includes a to-scale schematic that's going to help customers get the quantity of plants and the spacing right when they plant their new garden at home. This is a plan for a drought-tolerant uh, vignette in a sunny spot. It's about 12 to 15 feet wide and about 8 to 10 feet deep. It's a vignette anchored by Mahonia Charity. With its all-season structure, it's rounded out by other evergreens like a golden dwarf conifer uh, called AB's Golden Spreader and a pair of colorful Abelia Kaleidoscope. There's a yucca contributing that ever-important bold strappy foliage. And then Berberus Orange Rocket has fantastic foliage for three seasons. And summer blooms from the Nifofia Popsicle are embraced by a ground cover of blue fescue and sedum, dragon's blood. This is just one example of the types of planting plants that you'll find on the site. They're ready-made for a customer's DIY project or for adapting to your own project's dimensions if you're a designer. I'm going to give you a few tips for using search to help you get the results that you expect. In this keyword search, I'm illustrating how you might want to make sure that you get, don't get too specific in the keyword. So this Acer Red, so presumably one is looking for a red Japanese maple. Well, that search doesn't really get it because the data isn't uh, arranged that way. Instead, you'll get the results that you expect if you use keyword Acer and then since you're looking for red foliage, just go down to the foliage color and select red there. And now you're going to get the results that you expect. Effective searches are a balance between being specific enough to lead you to what you're looking for, yet broad enough so that you don't get skunked and end up with zero results. So in this case, just searching for perennials, you know, that's all well and good, but it's pretty broad. There are a lot of choices still. So if we narrow it down and say, okay, well, just show me zone six perennials that are well suited to part shade. Okay, I have fewer plants and that's good. But what if I actually select a foliage color? Now it really starts getting much more helpful. I have six excellent selections for a zone six perennial in part shade that has a gray silver tone. Six plants, much easier to digest and to act upon. It's really easy to get too many filter criteria though, and it gets too narrow and you end up with no results. So what happens if I add something crazy, like say, okay, show me a zone six perennial that's part shade with gray and silver foliage that makes a good hedge? Well, none, right? Because that's a silly search. If you check multiple selections within a category, it's, it's additive. Here's an instance where we're looking at all plants that have burgundy and maroon foliage or yellow and gold foliage. So all plants with uh, burgundy or yellow foliage are showing up in this search. Now, if we go and we add a criteria and say, okay, a shrub from a different category, now we're just seeing all the shrubs that have uh, burgundy foliage or yellow foliage. And now if I go further still and say, okay, just show me the shrubs with yellow foliage that are hardy to zone six and are evergreen, there you start getting to a much more manageable search and you really start honing in on plants with a specific design aesthetic. And you can continue adding filtering criteria. And again, just remember that if you add too many and you end up with zero results, just back off a little bit and you'll have better success. We are mobile ready. EGARDEN GO works well on smartphones and tablets. But you might want to get to know the site and its navigation on a larger screen, say your iPad, tablet, or your desktop, so that when you're out in the field and you're on your smartphone, it really feels a little bit more familiar and comfortable. So this is the bottom line as I see it. If our customers and clients have a plan of action, they're going to feel more confident and they're going to give it a whirl, and they're going to have more success. And you know what? 
that means they're going to have more fun. They're going to have a more satisfying experience. So they're going to be motivated to take on even more projects. And we all know that what that means. They're going to get hooked for life. They're going to be a repeat customer. And it's going to be the beginning of a beautiful and long-term relationship that's fantastic for everyone. So I'm confident that we share these goals, these goals of helping gardeners be more successful and have more fun. I'm convinced that the early successes, that's what helps create lifelong gardeners. Because we know that if they have success, they're going to get hooked, just like we are. So I ask you to tell your friends and colleagues about our site. Tell your customers and clients. And if you have a resource page, we'd totally appreciate a link to our site on it. Uh, if you'd mention our site in your emails and newsletters, and hey, let's connect on social media and work together there. And best yet, hey, become a sponsor. We have a variety of levels available from boosters to platinum level. Get in contact with me if that's something you're interested in learning more about. Thanks so much for listening. This is Darcy Daniels, garden designer with Bloomtown Gardens and creator of eGarden Go. Have fun and enjoy your gardens. <laughs>